Hi everyone, this is Peter here. Today we're gonna talk about tardigrades. I was lucky enough to capture a few inhydrated moss samples that I had collected in our garden and I've been looking forward to sharing the footage with you. I will also share 10 amazing facts about these unique, super impressive animals. But first, let's learn a little bit about what they are. Tardigrades, also known as water bears or moss piglets, are eight-legged microscopic animals that have a very diverse distribution and have been found almost everywhere on Earth on mountain tops, in tropical forests, on Antarctica, and even in deep sea. They are one of the toughest and most resilient organisms on our planet. They are capable of surviving, for example, extreme temperatures, pressure, radiation, and dehydration. There are about 1300 described species, and they have existed for hundreds of millions of years. They are very tiny, usually about half a millimeter long when fully grown, but some can be as small as 0.2 millimeter and larger species have a length of about 2 mm. The lifespan of tardigrades ranges from a few months to a couple of years for some species when there is sufficient amount of water and food available to support their bodily functions. They feed on bacteria, algae, plant cells, small microscopic animals such as rotifers, nematodes, and some even target other tardigrades. They are oviparous, which means that they lay eggs, and the fertilization of the eggs is usually external, but some species are parthenogenic, which refers to asexual reproduction where the development of the embryo occurs without fertilization by sperm. The eggs hatch within two weeks. And what's really interesting is that the young tardigrades already possess all the cells of an adult and they reach adult size by the growth of individual cells called hypertrophy rather than cell division. Tardigrades are essentially nature's pioneers capable of colonizing harsh environments and therefore providing food for larger creatures that follow. Based on scientific research, they may have been amongst the first animals to leave the ocean and adapt to living on land. Now that we know what tardigrades are, let's learn 10 astounding facts about these fascinating little creatures. Cryptobiosis is a state of extreme inactivity in response to adverse environmental conditions. In this special cryptobiotic state, all metabolic procedures essentially stop, preventing reproduction, development and repair. Tardigrades have this unique ability as well and can undergo cryptobiosis under the right conditions. This means that under extreme temperatures or a lack of water, these animals can temporarily slow down their metabolism to 0.01% of their original metabolic rate. This allows water bears to almost completely shut down their bodily functions, helping some tardigrades survive extreme environmental conditions such as temperatures close to absolute zero and even up to 150 degrees Celsius for a few minutes. In this special cryptobiotic state, which is called a ton, they replace the water in their cells with a protective sugar called trehalose, which preserves all the cellular machinery until favorable conditions return and water is available again. Tardigrades have been known to survive long periods without food or water in a ton and can return to normal once they are rehydrated. Some have been reanimated from this cryptobiotic state after lying dormant for 30 years. All animals on Earth have the so-called Hox genes, which means they must have developed very early on in evolution. These genes are arranged in one or more clusters. Most vertebrates have four of these clusters and most arthropods have five. However, scientists in North Carolina have discovered that water bears have only a single cluster of Hox genes, the one that in arthropods corresponds to the development of the head. At some point early in their lineage, tardigrades lost several genes responsible for producing the head-to-tail body form of animals during development. They have lost a large intermediate region of the body axis too, lacking segments that in insects corresponds to the entire thorax and abdomen. This essentially means that their entire body consists of only one body segment, the head, so they are basically walking heads. Some tardigrades in a tan state can handle extreme pressures as high as 600 megapascals, that's nearly 6,000 times the pressure of Earth's atmosphere at sea level, and it's about six times higher than the pressure found in the deepest ocean trenches, such as the Mariana Trench. Even half as much pressure would kill most multicellular life and bacteria. Researchers have found that tardigrades can survive up to 1,000 times more radiation than a human. They often resist the damage of radiation exposure in both active and tan states, which is quite surprising, since the effects of ionizing radiation are expected to be much higher in the presence of water. Even in a hydrated state, they remain highly resistant to shortwave UV radiation. Being in a tan state seems to offer more protection though. 
Not only are tardigrades capable of surviving significantly radiation, they can also produce healthy offspring following radiation exposure. This is due to their ability to efficiently repair damage to their DNA post-exposure. A list of amazing tardigrade facts wouldn't be complete without one of their most impressive feats. They are the only animals that have survived after they've been exposed to outer space. In 2007, scientists took groups of two different tardigrade species to outer space. The 12-day mission included active and desiccated tardigrades, exposing some of each group to either the vacuum of space, the radiation, or both for about 10 hours. Exposure to the vacuum was no problem for either species, and the zero-gravity environment had negligible effect as well. Some tardigrades even managed to lay eggs during the mission. They were not impervious though, and the combined effects of the vacuum and UV radiation did take a toll. Even though most ultraviolet protected tons survived, after they were brought back to Earth and returned to their normal state, many of them died shortly after. In April 2019, a small robotic lunar lander Bereshit crashed onto the Moon's surface due to failed gyroscopes, bringing its mission to an abrupt end, but part of its cargo, which contained classic books, human blood samples, and even the entirety of Wikipedia, and a colony of tardigrades, who scientists believe are extremely likely to have survived the impact. The fate of the tardigrades remains unclear, but even if they are still up there, they can't reanimate without liquid water, unfortunately. The digestive system of tardigrades is quite comparable to that of other animals. They feed through their mouths and defecate through their anuses, which lie at the back end of the water bear's bodies, which we earlier discussed is essentially just a head, which sounds a bit disconcerting to us humans at least. What scientists have found is that some tardigrades can only defecate through molting, leaving their feces on their shed cuticles. The cuticle is a rugged but flexible layer that the tardigrades are encased in, which contains proteins, lipids, and chitin. We don't know how often they defecate, but when they do, the poop is very large. This has only been observed a few times apparently, and there are only two videos of this online. I will leave a link in the description if you want to be shocked. Tardigrades date back at least half a billion years when they split off from Lobopodia, which is a group of velvet worms and arthropods, and they managed to survive at least five mass extinction events. Their tolerance of extreme temperatures, pressure, radiation, dehydration, and starvation makes them much better equipped to survive any upcoming global disasters than us. In a scientific study published in 2017, researchers examined the risk of various cataclysmic events potentially wiping out all life on Earth, focusing on asteroid impacts, supernovae, and gamma ray bursts, for example. We know that human life is considerably fragile in regard to these cataclysmic events, but the resilience of tardigrades renders global sterilization highly unlikely. Tardigrades have round telescopic mouths with concentric tubular muscles in their heads that work like cheeks to suck up food. Instead of teeth, they have two spear-like structures called stylets, which they use to pierce their food and suck the liquid content out of the cells that they feed on, drinking the insides like juice. Tardigrades also play a very important role in keeping the population of some nematodes, bacteria, and even small mites in certain environments by predation. Researchers from the University of Tokyo found a high expression of tardigrade-specific proteins, including damage suppressor, which was shown to protect against DNA damage from X-ray radiation. The team of researchers applied this protein to human cultured cells and found that it suppressed X-ray damage by around 40%. While the exact mechanism of DNA protection is still largely unknown, the results from a recent study suggest that strong electrostatic attractions, along with high protein flexibility, help for a molecular aggregate, which kind of functions as a protective cloud, allowing the damage suppressor to shield DNA. I hope you enjoyed this video about these unique animals that can still teach us so much about life here on Earth. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. You also might want to check out these videos next. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys very soon in the next one.